Here we are back down in the downstairs. Ahead of us is the entrance to the deep mine. And we will head down and uh, go all the way to the bottom. Pass a couple of chambers on the way that are just mined out areas where I found resources in the walls as I was going down and started mining out and uh, basically have uh, marked them as such, put a door and closed them off. Alrighty. Here's the end of the uh, long stairway here. Takes you down into substation one. Um, and then over here you have the foundation. And let me take a look. I can't hear any slimes. A lot of times uh, you hear the slimes hopping away in here. It seems like it'd be clear at the moment. A lava pool. I find lots and lots of lava down here. I've had a big issue with uh, lava when I get down into the mining area. Um, over here is just a uh, mined out little pocket where I was following a trail of some, I think, redstone and iron and coal down that way. Got that dirt there to mark the fact that there's another bit of lava pouring up. So whenever I come up this way, I don't run right into it. Um, down in this lower section, you see the foundation, the uh, adamantanium there. Down this lower section, I've pretty much used, done all the mining I'm going to do right now. I've got these uh, cross passages closed off with little walls of dirt. I'm going to cobblestone them off um, so that nothing will be spawning in here and come and chase me down. As you see, I tried to extend in different directions, but this way I keep running into lava and all right in here as well. Did you see how uneven this wall is? It's because I try to go that way and try to come this way and I have to keep moving further and further away from the lava pools. And then there was a nice clear shot here more lava in this area. Right here is where I got trapped um, by lava coming out of that area there. Had my back into this corner and I was trying to back up away from it while I scrolled over to get the dirt and it got me first. Set me on fire. I lost a little bit of iron, lost a pretty good stack of coal, lost a couple of uh, s s iron tools, and lost a diamond. That was the hardest part. Also lost some uh, redstone, but losing the diamond was the worst part of it. But it's taught me a very valuable lesson. Um, like I said, these things occasionally, like there's that area of dirt right there, is where there is a lava pool right behind that wall. And uh, I can't break through it. I'm sure when I go this way, I'm sure I'm going to break into it as well and have to make another jink in my uh, path. I'm wanting to say over here, let me get back, I think down here is where the door to hell is, yeah, there we go, I've got one of these, Brian talked about it on, uh, in his world, right here is mine, it's just a straight shot all the way down into the void, um, no adamantanium at the bottom, alright, I know I heard something that time zombies. Yeah, none of the unbreakable bedrock at the bottom, it's just uh, if you went through it, you just keep right on dropping. Um, but I've got glass at both sides just in case I break this one so that I don't fall on through. And as you see over on this side, that I keep trying to extend it where those dirt plugs are, but there's lava behind it, another big lava lake, and it goes at least this far, and then here, and then there's more there, it is annoying, and as you can hear, there's water behind this wall there too, somewhere, so, makes it difficult for, <laughs> to get my mining done. Alrighty, that's pretty much the situation here. One of the main reasons I blocked off all these cross passages temporarily is because I was down here mining, I think I was mining on this face right here, 
and all of a sudden I, I turned this way, slid, and an arrow thudded into the wall. I turned around, and there was a skeleton archer coming down the hall toward me that had spawned somewhere in the darkness of these cross passages. So I said, when I get around to it, I'm going to collect all the torches out and uh, block them off with cobblestone. I haven't done it yet because some places it connects up into the... Uh, the dungeons and caves that I've dug out above, so I want to make sure I seal off those areas before I turn it into a giant uh, monster spawner. Okay, I'm going to move out of the mine here, out of the foundations, and uh, I'll pick up whenever I get there. Alright, we're leaving the foundations behind. We're out of the substation. And you notice to the right, uh, the dungeon lies this way. Continue our little journey. Let's see which way to show you. Um, I believe it is this way that I need to go. Yes. Alrighty. A little bit of a maze of passages down this way. Always have to be on the... Take a little care because... Uh, I've almost jumped into lava here before. That's why I had to put these uh, barriers up. There's a big lava pool immediately underneath this bridge. And right over that way too. And I've come just a little too damn close to stepping in it before. Jumping down into it before. So, definitely um, a little bit more careful now. Let's see. Okay, we do go up this way try to guide myself with these walls of dirt. Okay. For instance, right here is a place where uh, my mining activities have broken into the upper surf the upper layers. So I'm probably gonna get around to closing this off with cobblestone. That'll do for the moment. Right up this way is the dungeon. Hollowed out the entire area underneath. Give me a second, I'm going to turn the music down. Yeah. I've hollowed out the entire area underneath the dungeon. All the green cobblestone there. And uh, I'm going to go up. I punched a hole in the wall approximately right here and got into one of the chests and uh, have emptied its contents out. And here's the observation level. It's at a double dungeon. Um, I believe it's a, a skeleton spawner is on this side, I think. And the spider spawner over here. I think that's how it works. I could have it backwards, but as you see, it is just a deadly mess down there. They are not very friendly. Um, I'm going to search around. There's one there, one here. I'm going to find the other chest, punch into them, and empty them. And then I'm going to start building a uh, start building a killing machine so I can get arrows and strings. Ah, uh, okay, a skeleton just spawned over here. So this side is the skeleton side. Not that it truly matters. It's just a chaotic, deadly cluster hump down there. Alrighty. come back up to the main hallway here out of the uh, spider dungeon area. It's down in that way. Keep coming on down the hall. As you see here, this was another room that was entirely filled with dirt and gravel. I have some really, I mean, interesting, nice-looking large rooms if they just weren't filled to the uh, roof with crud. And I'm going to continue on down the hallway here. <laughs> 